In classical physics, different laws are used to describe how particles and waves behave. For a ball, we use particle type laws, and we usually want to find the location of the ball or its speed at time t. So we use Newtonian mechanics. But waves are not localized, and we cannot specify an exact location for them. However, in quantum world, particles sometimes follow the rules that we usually use for waves. They actually act like waves. For example, the double slit experiment for electrons. In 1924, Du Bruijs suggested a very bold hypothesis that we can associate a wave of wavelength lambda with any material particle moving with momentum p. H is Planck's constant, p is the momentum of the particle, and lambda is called the Du Bruijs wavelength. We know that the amplitude of the wave will tell us something about the location of the particle. As an example, take these two waves. The upper one doesn't give us a lot of information about the location of the particle. On the other hand, the lower one tells us that we can find a particle in a small region of a space. But it doesn't give us much information about the wavelengths of the wave. A wave packet can be presented as a superposition of waves with different wavelengths and based on the Dubroy hypothesis, different momentums. More wavelengths lead to a more localized wave packet. So there is a trade-off between the uncertainty of the position and momentum or the wavelengths. If you want to find the location of the particle more exactly, we lose the certainty in momentum and vice versa. So the position and the momentum of the particle cannot be measured at the same time with high precision. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle presents the inherent uncertainty in the act of measuring a variable of a particle, which arises from the wave-particle duality.